So this is session four of being a follower of Jesus. And we've been talking about the disciples' desire to be like the rabbi. Let's share a story for today. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he dismissed them, he went up the mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was already a fair distance from land and it was buffeted by waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, replied Peter, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and he began to sink and he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. It's a story that's set in something that would have been really familiar to people. That lake or sea of Galilee uh, is surrounded by mountains and apparently storms can come up very, very quickly. And it's quite possible that the disciples set off when it was quite calm, but suddenly this storm comes up and they're really battling the waves. But Jesus had gone up the mountain a little bit to find some quiet and to pray. He would have seen the boat. He would have been able to see the lake and the boat. And they, he saw that they were struggling. But it was a little while before he went to them. And when he did go to them, he went in a very unusual way. He walked on the water. Now, these were fishermen who knew that lake. They may not have been frightened by the wind, but it says when they saw Jesus, they screamed in terror because they thought they were seeing a ghost. Jesus spoke to them and calmed their fears. And then we get this amazing statement by Peter. Lord, if it really is you, order me to come to you on the water. Now we know that Peter did suffer a little bit from foot in mouth disease, but this is a pretty amazing act of faith. You see, he wanted to be like his rabbi, even to the point of walking on water. Jesus simply said, come. Now, if Jesus knew that Peter wouldn't be able to walk on the water, he would have said, no, no, hang on, Peter, just stay in the boat, you'll be right. But Jesus said, come. And then Peter actually got out of the boat and began to walk. At that point, he wanted so much to be like Jesus that he was willing to do something he knew human beings could not do. And then he suddenly looked at his circumstances. People do not walk on water. And he began to sink. And that's when he yelled out to Jesus to save him, which he did. And Jesus said, why did you doubt? So who was Peter doubting? Well, it was doubting himself. You see, he didn't doubt Jesus at all. He called out to Jesus for help. He doubted himself. Jesus had told him to step out of the boat. And he did that in obedience to Jesus. But it was then that he began to doubt himself. And I think this is something that bugs most of us. We so easily doubt ourselves. Even when we believe that we're doing what Jesus has called us to do, this doubt creeps in. I can't do that. That's not possible for me. We really need the passion that Peter had to be like his, his rabbi, but we do also have to believe in ourselves. If Jesus has called us to do something, then we can do it. 
not in our power, but in his. We can do it, whatever the circumstances. Thank you. 